How's everything going? How's preparation for the season? You got your first game on Saturday. Uh, it, it must be uh, must have been a little different uh, getting ready for this season. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, our motto this year is we're just glad to be here. So with everything that's going on um, and all the changes with field hockey this season, we just keep telling ourselves that we're just glad to have a season and, um, you know, kind of trying to enjoy every day that we have. <laughs> um, so this is a crazy season for field hockey, especially. So I know um, you probably know that a lot of the sports had to make some changes to their games for safety reasons. Um, and there was a right. lot of, a lot of controversy with field hockey. And we're, we're going to throw some of those changes up uh, momentarily. Uh, but how have the players adjusted to, uh, and how have you adjusted getting ready for these uh, changes that you're going to have to deal with this season? Um, I mean, I think at first we were kind of panicked about it um, because moving to a seven V seven format, on top of girls wearing masks um, and on top of everything else. There's some other new rules in field hockey this year as well. Like there's no timeouts. We're doing four 15 minute quarters. Um, so um, a lot of changes, um, but I don't know. We adapt well, kids adapt really well. I had I would not have thought that they'd be doing as well as they are with the masks, but um, it doesn't, I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't impact them, but it doesn't impact them the way maybe we had anticipated it would. One of the rule adjustments this year in field hockey, instead of 11 on 11, it will now be 7 on 7. Coach Abate talked about the adjustment. Challenging as 7v7 is, I think ultimately um, it's going to turn our players into better players into smarter players. Um, so one of the things that we keep saying to the girls is that we have to play smarter this year, um, not harder, right? Because right. there's fewer people on the field. So it's seven, but one of them is a goalie. So we have six field players. Um, so it's really important that we're very strategic, um, that we're not just running in circles um, and that we're not working harder than we need to. Uh, and it's also a situation with just six people on the field everyone's got to perform, you know, right. um, we need everybody to be contributing. And so in that sense, I think that the experience of this season will make any player who's coming back next year be that much better. Coach Abate also broke some news on the show. Don't forget, folks, we'll have live Hillers Field Hockey this Saturday on HKM. We'll have Hillers JV at 9 a.m. and Varsity at 11 a.m. We now don't need football. That's right. We, we, we got field hockey and girls soccer on Saturday. So yeah. Full for us. yeah, that's awesome. And we did actually just get the news that every player is going to be allowed to have two spectators or two fans at the game. That was new. Ah. Up we we're going to be no fans at all. So that's they breaking news. Two. I didn't hear that yet. Break. Oh, good. Aren't you glad you brought me? Okay. Absolutely. So breaking news. Um, yeah. So that's great especially for the senior parents. I was really devastated for them to, to think that they weren't going to see their kids last games. Not yep. that HPM wouldn't offer them a tremendous experience, but obviously it's not the same as being in person. That's, that's right. We figured we may get some uh, volunteers out of it from people that really wanted to be there. Maybe uh, think, they could run a camera, something like that. I think we might still <laughs> get them. So don't, don't be surprised. Well, well, we have had uh, some people step up to the table, so we're happy about that. And, uh, yeah, and if I, anybody's gonna... interested, we're always looking. Don't forget, you can catch HCAM Sports Talk live every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Next week, we will talk with Hopkinton Hillers girls soccer head coach Tom Skiba.